Well, Herb, where are we off to now? Well, actually, I think we need to head up to Midland. There's some really cool attractions up there that you're really gonna love. Good, I like to see all kinds of things, so <laughs> we're getting that today. You got it. <laughs> For small city charm with big city choices, Midland offers a diverse mix of quaint shops, unique eateries, parks, and bustling businesses to explore. A Feast for Our Eyes was our next stop on our bus tour. Who knew there were more than 250 varieties of dahlias, each variety planted and labeled along the gravel pathway. We were awed by the 3,000 plants arranged on the eight stone terraces, all maintained by volunteers. Curious as to how this beautiful garden came about, we learned that in 1966, Chrisanne Breed gave her mother yellow and red dahlia tubers for Mother's Day. Her father, Charles Breed, planted the tubers and began a lifelong love affair with dahlias. Then Charles requested permission to plant dahlias on the vacant property next to his design studio, and he, with the help of property owner Bill Fisher, began with 1,700 tubers and 200 yards of topsoil to create Dahlia Hill. It pleased us to be surrounded by more colors than are found in the rainbow. This inviting stop with benches and resting areas attracts visitors of all ages, 